In this example, we want to find, okay, we want to find the surface area of revolution. Okay, so we're given the curve, which is what we see here, um, x equals to square root a squared minus y squared, where y is between 0 and a over 5. So let's first sketch the region, and then, um, and then from there we can get a visual of what's going on. So this equation here, so what we can do is we can square both sides, and then we'll get x squared plus y squared equals to a squared. So that is really just the equation of a circle with radius of a. So let's sketch this. Okay. Okay. Make that a little bit straighter here. So here's my here's my circle. Okay. I have minus a here, positive a, a, and then minus a down here. Okay. So we're interested, so if we go, we have to look at our bounds. Okay, our bounds are going between zero and a over five. So that means we're only working on this part of the circle, so we don't need Okay, we don't need this bottom part. Okay, so we're going between y0, so it's only going to be this part down. Let's see, let's erase this. Oh, for some reason, that's not working. Okay, all right. And let me label this as x and y here. Okay. All right, so this part, so for part of the curve, it's only going up to a over five. So let's mark that here. So this is the region that we were, that we want to revolve here. So it's only this region, okay? And then, so that's gonna be revolved around the y-axis. Okay. So now, um, so what we need to do, okay, so first let's, uh, let me go ahead and define the uh, surface area. So just recall surface area is equal to 2 pi times the integral from a to b of r of x times square root of 1 plus the derivative squared. Okay. All right. So, so what we can do here is we can use the we can we can keep everything in terms of x, okay? Because I'm going to call this. Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna label this as this is gonna be my r value x. So if we use this as r, then we can then we need to make sure everything else is in terms of x, including the bounds. Okay. So, so r of x, r of x is going to be x. Um, we need the derivative of, we need the derivative of, uh, in terms of x. So let's go to, let's go down here. So y, so y is equal to a squared minus x squared. Okay, so if we take the, right, so if we take the derivative of this, Okay, so remember this is just this is just the uh, function of x. So y prime is going to be one half times a squared minus x squared to the negative one half times the derivative of the, of the inside. So that's going to be minus two x. So this says this is going to simplify to give us x or minus x over the square root of a squared minus x squared. Okay. All right. So, okay. So that is the derivative in terms of x. 
now okay we need to we also need to convert the limits because we're given the limits in terms of y but we'll do that later after we simplify everything okay so this is going to give us 2 pi times the bounce like I said we'll we'll worry about those later so this is going to be x times the square root of 1 plus I'm going to go ahead and square the derivative here so we're going to get x squared over a squared minus x squared dx okay so simplify this a little bit more so our denominator is a squared minus x squared so then rewriting this okay so for one I can write as a squared over minus a squared minus x squared over a squared minus x squared okay so I go ahead and write that out and then divide by a squared minus x squared okay so now all right so then we get square root x times the square root of a squared over a squared minus x squared okay so then Okay, taking the square root of this, so we get, um, we're going to end up with a, so I'm going to go ahead and take a outside the integral, that's just a constant, and then we have x over the square root of a squared minus x squared. And again, like I said, we'll worry about the bounds, we have to change those later because if you recall, the original bounds were given in y. So we're going to change them to x later on. Okay, so now let's go ahead and solve this. Okay, this is this integral we can solve by using just the simple u substitution. So we can solve by letting u be equal to a squared minus x squared. So du is going to be minus 2x dx. Therefore, we have minus one half du is equal to uh, x dx. Okay, so let's go over here. So that's going to give us two pi times a. So we're going to get. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take out the minus one half, and that will leave us with. The integral of 1 over square root of u du okay so this gives us minus pi times a times the integral of so that's just the integral of u to the negative one half so when we take the integral of u to the negative one half that's going to give us u to so that's going to be what uh, u to the positive one half divided by two I'm sorry divided by one half so that's going to give us plugging everything back in that's going to give us uh, minus two pi a times the square root of a squared minus x squared Okay, so now this is where we need to change our limits. So we need to evaluate. Okay, so now we need to evaluate this. So our bounds, okay, our bounds were given from 0 to a over 5 for y. Okay. So since we're dealing with x, we need to convert these, okay? So we'll go back to the function, okay? So we have, um, so we use our original expression here. So our x was equal to the square root of, what was it, square root of a squared minus y squared. Okay, so when x is, uh, I'm sorry, when, when y is zero, 
Okay, so plugging in y equals zero, we're gonna get square root of a squared. So that's gonna give us x equals to a. When y is equal to a over five, that's gonna give us a squared minus a squared over 25. So that will give us, let's see. Uh, let's see, simplifying this, this is gonna be, it's gonna give us 20, 24 a squared over 25. So that leaves us with, um, let's see, we can leave this as square root of, or a over five times the square root of 24. Okay, so then we're going to evaluate this. We're gonna go back up here and evaluate, um, evaluate this expression using these bounds. But keep in mind here now, we have to remember the order here, okay? So the order, um, it turns out that when, so we have going from zero to a over five. So zero was for x equal, was for a. And for a over five, we had a over, at one fifth a times square root of 24. So it turns out that um, these are gonna flip, these are gonna flip around, okay? So this is going to be, uh, a will be up here and then one fifth a times square root of 24, okay? So it turns out that this, this is the correct order and we can actually verify that quickly algebraically. So let, let's just do that quickly. So we can show that a is actually smaller, I'm sorry, a is actually bigger than one fifth a times square root of 24. So multiplying both sides by five, okay, we get five a times square root, or five a, it's gonna be bigger than a times square root 24. And then we can cancel a here because we're, in this case, a is positive, okay. So this is gonna give us five, it's gonna be bigger than square root 24. And that's actually a true statement. So that's why A has to go first. Or so A is acting as the upper bound. And then we have one fifth A squared of 24 as a lower bound, okay? So whenever you're changing limits, when you're changing, you're converting your bounds, just be careful of the order, okay? So now we can go ahead and evaluate this. So we're gonna get minus two pi A. Substitute A in, you're gonna get zero here, okay? And then minus, we get minus, minus, so it's gonna be plus two pi a. And let me move this down a little bit more, make some room. And so we're gonna get so plus, so substitute this into x, we're gonna get plus two pi a times the square root of a squared minus, so squaring all this, uh, we're gonna get 24a over 25. Okay, so that will leave us with two pi a times, this, uh, times the square root of, let's see, 24, oh, this was also squared here, so we get so we're gonna get uh, 25, I'll go ahead and write this out. So 25 a squared minus 24 a squared over 25. So then this gives us two pi a times a squared over 25. And then that's equal to two pi a times a over five. After we take the square root, so we're left with two fifths times a squared pi. And that is our solution in the exact form. So that is the uh, uh, surface area of this, uh, of this region getting revolved, okay?
All right, so that is our solution. So just keep in mind with the bounds that we have to change the original bounds that were given. They were given a Y, but we had to change them over in terms of X. Okay. All right. So that is it.